Yes, everybody, please put your mic on mute, please, if it is not already. Yes. All right, everybody, we are so excited to welcome our guests for the night, a pretty iconic Bachelor couple, um, Jared and Ashley. So Jared was on the 11th season of The Bachelorette and Ashley was on the 19th season of The Bachelor. Then the two of them met on season two of Bachelor in Paradise and got married just in August, right? Like this, this past year, 2019. Um, so uh, since their time in the Bachelor franchise, they've appeared on tons of talk shows like Good Morning America, all sorts of good stuff. And we are so excited for you all to spend some time with them tonight and ask them some questions. Um, so what have you been up to in the quarantine? I've seen lots of videos and keep, see, you seem to be keeping yourself occupied, but how's it been for you? We've been pretty occupied. Uh, we've been <laughs> almost going about like a normal schedule day. It's like, you know, with I wouldn't time, say that. With time what's more time for relaxing like a whole hour of tv time when i have my coffee he has this hour and a half bath in the middle of the day if you have access to a bathtub and you're not taking a bath a day during this quarantine you're quarantining all wrong yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh that's amazing um so i'll like start us off and so everybody you can post questions in the chat and then we will call on you like to ask um our two special guests questions so go ahead and start posting those um so uh i wanted to start asking you oh my gosh we already have like five people were prepared um yeah, but really obviously prepared. um your relationship really blossomed after bachelor in paradise um, but what have been some like highlights or cool experiences you've had either um on your own or together after your time on in the bachelor franchise <laughs> we're gonna really name drop right now like it's, it's bad. <laughs> horrible people but those are the coolest things those are definitely the coolest things you can tell the story i know which one you're gonna go for which one? <laughs> the Ashton and Mila one. Oh, well, that was obviously the coolest thing. So, yeah, our, well, we've, we've been lucky to have a lot of cool experiences because of the show. Uh, we've gotten to go to movie premieres. Like, we went to the Star Wars Episode Nine movie premiere um, and uh, walked the red carpet, which is the craziest shit ever. Because <laughs> it's, like, actual celebrities walking the carpet, and then it's just, like, us being like, hey, we're here, too. <laughs> um, and, uh, but one of the coolest things we ever did, there's a... Clayton Kershaw, he's a pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers, and he has a charity event every year. And we went last year, and uh, we saw that Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis were there as well. And we knew that they were Bachelor fans. They're Bachelor fans. So we're fans. like, oh, my God, if we meet them, like, this is going to be, like, this could, like, be, like, a thing. Like, we could, like, you know, connect with them. And um, the reason we know they were Bachelor fans is because when we were on our first season of Paradise, Ashton Kutcher actually posted a picture of me on his Twitter because somebody said on the show that I kind of resemble him. And he took a picture, a selfie of himself in front of the TV. And I was on the TV. Side by side. And he, <laughs> he tagged Ashley. So uh, so fast forward, we're at the Dodgers event and we see Ashley and Mila and we're like, we gotta, we gotta say something. We don't know what we're gonna say. So we're creepily, like we're very creepy the two walking of them just, like, up. <laughs> them and then we're like okay this is our this is our move time we must have looked like psychos no, but... and then we made eye contact and then ashton goes oh my god oh my god and then he like does like that very ashton could remove where he like spins around with like his arms out he's like oh my god so animated and we talked yeah. to them for like 10 minutes maybe more and, the cool and then mila was so like funny. oh come on come in for a hug congratulations because we she knew that we just got engaged and yeah it was fucking awesome <laughs> they gave us like, like wedding advice yeah they were so nice because we cool. were a year out from our wedding it was really awesome so oh my gosh cool. they say That's i remember they say i resemble ashley kutcher as well you know i just yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm sure you get that all the time Jessica. all the time <laughs> um so oh gosh i'm sure this question is very complex but what is it like having your whole relationship broadcasted to the world <laughs> i guess like I don't really know differently. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I'm like, I would say, well, Jared is my only serious relationship. So I truly don't know differently. Um, it's, it's <laughs> strenuous. It's, it's great. It's amazing. Um, it's, it's weird because I'll, I'll, I'll post something on, on Instagram that I'm passionate about or something that I really enjoy and nobody gives a rat's ass, but then I'll post just a selfie of Ashley and I sitting on the couch and it will be my highest liked, most engaged photo. It's so that aspect's very good. Uh, but that's also frustrating because like our other passions that aren't each other don't exactly get the attention that we wish mm -hmm. their platform for. 
fine. But it's hard. It's hard being exposed in, in the public eye. It's, it's it has its benefits totally. Um, um, you know, from the like we talked about the experiences that we've been able to do, uh, the jobs that we've been able to have. Like we've been, you know, we've gotten to host on ABC and and we've gotten to be on Good Morning America a few times and, and meet these incredible people and do these incredible things and be just because of the show. Uh, but also it, it has its downsides because as you guys know, media is, uh, uh, it, it's an interesting time right now. And so things get taken out of context. And, and so something that you said that you really didn't think twice about all of a sudden gets poked out in the media. And, and like, I've had- Cancel culture is scary. Yeah, and I, like I've had friends text me from Bachelor and be like, why'd you say this, man? And I was like, no, 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 that's completely out of context. They asked me about you and I said something very nice and like, it just sounds so differently when you just write it down instead of verbalize it. So that aspect sucks. Cause it just makes you like, but that's less about, about our everything. relationship. That's less about our relationship. Sure. More of like just being a public guy. What do you think? I don't know. I said, I don't even know differently. <laughs> I, I think, uh, when it first, when we first started dating, it was weird. You know, I have one thing to say. You Your virginity was a thing too. Like we can, yeah, he that. didn't like that. Like, I mean, who would like that? <laughs> he didn't like that. He didn't like it being out there in such oh, a public like, way. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, you know, like having people be like, you know, did Jared take Ashley's virginity? Mm, yeah, that was really awkward because that was um, a oh, headline. We're very, we're very upfront and honest, guys. Sorry that, <laughs> that was a headline that was out there during our first season of Paradise. And his like ex girlfriend was like, what the heck is this about? It's just it like too close. It was like we weren't totally transitioned into bachelor world yet yeah that was weird um but i think like it's really annoying now as far as like our relationship goes we got married in august i'm 32 and very aware that my biological clock is ticking but i can't do an interview these days without us being asked if asked if we're gonna have a quarantine baby and it's really gonna blow my head off like i'm all right so the person that <laughs> asked that question we're not gonna ask that okay i'm sorry <laughs> did somebody <laughs> ask that no 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 no, no. i'm just joking <laughs> i'm just here for i'm just here for comedy relief you have to understand that i've never i just started watching the bachelor and bachelorette literally like a week ago because i knew y'all were coming on i wanted to be ready <laughs> to ask questions uh we had mike johnson on what yesterday two days ago? uh tuesday yeah oh, mike's a friend yeah, yeah, he had nothing but very nice things to say about y'all. Very nice things. So we were really excited to have you. He's a good dude. Mm -hmm. I'm a longtime Bachelor fan, hence <laughs> my reaching out. But Justin is not so well versed in the Bachelor nation oh, is. She's like, universe. Oh my gosh. She, she has to work right now, but she was like, "Oh, tell them I said hi." So like, there you go. So Nicole so, Brown says hi. She says hi. <laughs> Um, I'm going to start calling on people because we have tons of questions rolling in and I want as many people as possible to get to interact with you guys. So Carlin, you are our first um, person. So go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question. Yay. Hi. Uh, um, hi, Carlin. Hi. I was wondering what your guys' favorite memory was from any of the shows you've been on through the Bachelor franchise. Carlin, that looks like a very comfy chair. It is. Very comfy. <laughs> are you reclined back right now? <laughs> yeah, I am. That's badass. That's good. Uh, you don't like reclining. I like reclining by myself. She likes to recline while she's <laughs> on me. I'm not. I'm not a fan of that. It's like too much. Anyway, what was the question? Sorry. <laughs> I was wondering what your guys' favorite memory was from any of the shows you've been on, like in the Bachelor franchise. It would be bad if I didn't say our engagement moment. So yeah. our engagement moment. <laughs> it's a little tainted though, so it's not one of the things that come up to, in my head immediately. Yeah, I mean that's. You want to talk about. The relationship in the public, public, public eye, yeah. specifically Bachelor. Uh, when you're on the show, obviously you don't have that much control over anything. And so we got engaged and it was an incredible moment, an incredible day. Uh, we didn't feel weird at all no. there. But yeah, well, but I, don't know. I, I think I think I was a little naive in the moment thinking like, they're not gonna, like we've been on the show so many times and, and they're not gonna do anything. And they did something. Um, they had my ex-boyfriend present for my proposal. And then, the, and then the interesting thing was but, when it aired, it was all about him and not us. <laughs> anyway, but um, <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, yeah, of course, so my favorite memory moment. is the engagement. Yeah. yeah. And then um, I would also I say like Fantasy Suite was like a one that pops up to my head pretty quickly. Yeah, Fantasy Suite. For me, made. like it was just the sorority house that was being on The Bachelor. That was so much fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I, I mean, this is, it's, it's weird to talk about, but not that weird because Caitlin was at our wedding. But so I, I went on a date on my season of The Bachelorette uh, and it was, uh, an, I had actually two pretty badass dates. Yeah, you had two good dates. I had one that in, uh, it was in New York at the Met and they had the Met, uh, the Met was closed off to everybody else except for us. And we had dinner in the Egyptian room, which was gorgeous. And then we had a helicopter ride over new york city at night so jared's a favorite memory from the bachelor no no it's not my favorite i'm just giving giving options here i'm giving (laughs) options i'm giving options that's all i'm doing it's okay his his... it's okay oh my gosh oh my goodness so next we have emma so emma witkowski go ahead hi hi Um, how are you good how are you doing well thank you uh, my question is it's kind of silly, but do you guys ever eat the food on the dates? Because I feel like when my dad and I watch, like it looks like you get up and the food is still there. So I have eaten on all of my dates and I'm so proud of saying that. Um, also, it's pretty much norm to not touch it because it is cold and you eat before the date because they always like have something in your hotel room or whatnot beforehand so that like you don't have to eat on camera because they say it doesn't make you look pretty but I don't really care yeah they always feed you before the date so you get to the date and then the food is there and I would eat it but you know for me I like don't not eat food if it's in front of me no he like he has a willpower or something really gross like that they feed you before the date because they don't want you eating on camera because it's just not as uh appealing appealing attractive yeah Mm -mm. thank you (laughs) <laughs> that's too funny so nicole kuttner go ahead hey. Hi. Um, what two people from the bachelor franchise who haven't been together yet do you think should couple up Ooh, that's a good question Ooh. um who the why am i drawing who is blanks? single let's do um who are okay, the guys so like maddie like who's yeah, but that's what I was thinking because my first the first person that came to mind was Peter Krause. You okay. guys remember Peter from Rachel's season. So I pretty much think that Peter should just be the Bachelor. Yeah. Uh, yes. That too now. The other guy I'd like to be the Bachelor. This is more of like a, a close knit heart. He wants Nick to be the Bachelor again. Honestly, I was going to say Sean Booth. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. Uh, but who should couple up? I think it's tough because Madison. A lot of the girls on Peter's season are pretty young. And so I'm trying to think of younger guys too. Yeah. Uh, I can't, I don't have anyone, honestly, that's just like, I'm yeah. blatantly shipping. I think because Tyler's a very nice guy, but I think Tyler could use a little break, you know? <laughs> you know, he's got things with Hannah going on right now, or, or maybe not, I don't know. It seems like Hannah uh, Ann is dating uh, Mason Rudolph. Oh, yeah. On the Steelers, so. Yeah, he's a quarterback for the Steelers. They're spotted together. What about Mike? Together. Who would Mike be good with? Quarterback for who? Well, Steelers, he's the backup. Oh, oh, they got, oh, they got, a, oh, they got a quarterback over there. I know. Yeah. Miles Garrett hit him in the head with the helmet. He swung at him. That, that. I know, I know who he is. We're we're a Keystone State, so those are our big two teams, the Eagles and the Steelers. So they often fight of who's uh. Oh, got to go. Better. <laughs> we all, we um, I I don't know. Uh, yeah, sorry, don't have an answer for that. Shit. <laughs> Listen. I can see Jared being upset because he's a Patriots fan, but you got to hate the Steelers just a little bit more, right? It's a Tom Brady hat, by the way. Just uh, for you guys to know, TB12 always, always in my heart. So you're you're now part of the Tampa <laughs> Bay. Tom Brady is. Yeah, of course they do. So, so you like the Tampa Bay Patriots right now, right? Uh, they're my second favorite team. That's right, baby. He's definitely going to be rooting for them harder than the Patriots. Oh, Not my harder, God. But pretty close. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's too funny. So um, next we're going to go to Lara. Yeah. Lara. <laughs> hey. Lara and family. <laughs> Lara and family. Hi. And this is Ollie. Oh, Aww. hello. And this is mom. Hi. Yeah, that's mom. Hey, mom. How you doing? How are you? Wait, I don't even remember my question. Oh, when, <laughs> uh, it was Jared. When did you realize you were in love with Ashley? That's my question. When did I realize? Yeah. Yeah. When I saw her. That he said that in the, our vows. And I was like, <laughs> that's not <laughs> I want to believe that. And he said in his vows, so I do believe that. As you well should. Um, 
there was the one specific moment where like he felt like he had like actual feelings was two months after we filmed the bachelor in paradise 2 and i was running a charity event that i put together for a whole bunch of bachelor cast in my hometown and uh he just saw me in my element he saw me with my family he saw me in a leadership role and it just it was attractive no you got to just understand too i don't know at least for me going on these shows it's just it's a lot and you're getting information from all different directions because you go into this scenario and you already have your guard up because you you're on tv and you know you have different producers telling you different things and then you meet the cast and then there's like 10 girls there and then you're supposed to decipher like which one you want to go on a date with and then you have somebody saying you'll be perfect with them and then another person saying no they'll be perfect for you or oh, that person likes you you should give them a shot and so i think bachelor is not my uh like being on the show wasn't uh, a strong suit of him for yeah. being able to make appropriate decisions i know <laughs> uh, so then we we a couple months after uh we we filmed bachelor in paradise uh, Ashley invited me down here in Virginia to a charity event with a bunch of other Bachelor alum. And uh, it was the first time everybody we got to slept hang out. over. Like yeah. they all came, they flew in, and there was like nine Bachelor alums staying at my parents' house. And uh, it was the first time I saw Ashley outside the show, and, and we got to really hang out and just bond and, and watch football together and, and, uh, and just chill. And, and it was. Uh, I saw a different side of Ashley, because, uh, you know, especially on the show, it was just, it was very emotional, you know? Thank you. Uh, so I think that was- Love your story. Aw, thank you. I thought I cried watching the, the whole, YouTube like, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all social distancing over there? That can watch We're family. family! Oh, okay, all right. I'm just checking. I'm trying to make sure everybody's safe, you know? <laughs> Each Once other. I see a couple guys in here, you know what it is? Just like guys, uh, as a guy, I can say this, uh, you know, we're pretty stupid. So sometimes it takes a while longer, you know? <laughs> and the, it's such a short span of time to like develop feelings for someone. And obviously you're together all the time. So, well, I mean, not on The Bachelor, but Bachelor in Paradise, you kind of like have like all day together and whatever else, but it's just a short amount of time and they expect you to fall in love and get married very quickly. <laughs> I've been on three shows and i still don't understand how people get engaged at the end <laughs> i can like, it's so insane it's, but i can definitely it's like no offense to our friends who have gotten no. engaged from it it's just so fast you know even like mm -hmm. i i think back upon like if we got engaged after our season of paradise like but i particularly crap. don't understand people who get engaged at the end of bachelor and bachelorette that's what yeah, i think is fast. wild paradise you have like 26 whole days living together. Mm -hmm. But The Bachelor, Bachelor, right? I think you may have 48 hours together. Yeah. That doesn't mean it can't be work. Uh, that doesn't mean it doesn't work. It doesn't mean that they're not really in love. Everybody who leaves that show together, I mean, that I've been friends with, they're, they're all in love, you know? And, and, and uh, they all have very strong feelings for each other and they care about each other and they want to be with each other. But, you know... It's just, it's hard sometimes. Yeah, but I think that there's a reason why the track record for Bachelor in Paradise is stronger. Yeah, makes sense. I started watching Love Island, which is like basically the British version of uh, Bachelor in Paradise. And it's so funny. It's like very similar to Bachelor in Paradise. I don't know which one started first, but it's kind of funny because they do the same thing where they're like are all together. In paradise. A villa. And they're on that show and we support it. <laughs> um so Nick Santa, go ahead and ask your question. If you're here. Are you here? Hello? Okay, we can come back to you, Nick, if you're not here right now. <laughs> um, so Lauren Tusar, go ahead. Hey guys, so nice to meet you. Nice. Definitely a huge fan, been watching for years. I was just mostly curious about Bachelor in Paradise. Like, is the drama kind of fabricated by the producers, or do you feel like there's a lot of natural drama that occurs? Because there were some moments, like, I was thinking back to, like, one, I think from last season, like, Jordan and Christian, like, were fighting over this pinata, and it seemed like it just went from, like, zero to 100, like, real quick. And I was just, I don't know. Some of it seems real. Some of it seems fake. So I just wanted your input. Yeah, it's all fake. Uh, <laughs> We just think of on the spot. 
it's not that one. I don't know why I said that. Um, it's not. It's <laughs> So they never, like, it's never scripted. We always say it's never scripted. Mm -hmm. It's staged in a way that, like, the producers know what they're doing, but we don't know what they're doing to us. And sometimes, like, with the timing of everything, you're like, I can't believe they're doing this to me. I can't believe that they're doing this to me. And you know that they're doing this to you to test you and make you as emotionally heightened as possible. And to create the TV. And to create the TV. But like you, it's never fake because you're truly feeling that way. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Like, I, 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 that Christian and Jordan fight was 100% real. Like they, Bachelor does not want contestants fighting. Yeah. It was just like two guys just, you know, in a hundred degree weather that were fighting and then just somebody pushed somebody and then boom, there you go. Uh, that was stupid. I'll and and they some, both know that was stupid. I can give them some dirt. Okay, so with Bachelor in Paradise 3, I basically told the producers, because I was a stupid, stupid idiot for months, I was like, don't have Kayla there. I swear <laughs> Kayla's there. Like, I know that she's the only girl that Jared would ever, like, give a chance to all of these girls on Ben season. And then they're like, Ashley, she's not coming. She doesn't want to come, blah, blah, blah. She was telling me the same thing. And then, of course, I get there. And who entered one day before me and asked Jared on a date. Like, that's the kind of thing. Like, they were not going to have me yeah. first. They were going to obviously yeah. put her in first. I mean, how many times have you seen the show where they're like, yeah, I, I you know, I, I, I went on a date with uh, Sarah and uh, I don't know what's going to happen. And then all of a sudden, Sarah walks down the stairs. It's yeah, like, or like Blake's <laughs> moment where he went to stagecoach <laughs> with everyone. So, yeah. Well, I mean, Blake did that to Blake, himself. Dude, yeah. I'll never forget. Uh, <laughs> Like, Cause I like Blake, but yeah. I'll never forget. We did an event before he went to paradise, like two months before he went to paradise. We knew he was screwed. <laughs> we're like, don't do it. And we knew like, <laughs> everybody knew, everybody knew that he had been with a lot of girls from bachelor. And I, I remember being, <laughs> we were at dinner and I was like, Blake, are you sure? Like, it's going to, you're still going to go to paradise, even though you think all these other girls are going to go too. He's like, it's fine. Goes, we're all goes, friends. All it's talk. not. We're all his friends. We're, everything's cool. <laughs> I was like, all right. I don't think it's gonna be cool, but if you are so sure. Uh. <laughs> your, li your lives are like reverse genies. Like I'm sitting here the whole time. Like I hope Beyonce doesn't walk in here right now, or you know, I hope somebody <laughs> gives me a, a five course dinner. You know, yeah, yeah. Basically, out. anytime you think that you're ahead of the producers, you're absolutely one step behind them. Ten steps behind. Yeah. Them. <laughs> oh my goodness so neb go ahead no you're next um so my question is um like who's your favorite like like couple from like the bachelor the bachelorette like franchise that includes like paradise as well like who's your favorite couple definitely us <laughs> <laughs> yes, great answer <laughs> oh, neb, thanks for the question man uh we're closest with tanner and jade if uh if anybody remembers from uh our yeah. first season of bachelor uh and uh we've gone we've always been close to them but we've just grown closer with them ever they started a family too and uh they're little ones emmy and brooks so uh that's been really cool uh evan and carly we're we're close with um those are like the two couples that we would be vacation with and it would feel like yeah duh. <laughs> uh, i mean we're really close to nick uh yeah. nick by all um, and ben Really close with Ben Higgins, obviously. Dean and Kaylin. Dean, yeah, Dean and Kaylin. We would, we would vacation with Dean and Kaylin, yeah. too. So I always, like, forget I really that Dean like and Kaylin are... I mean, I know they're together, <laughs> but I just, I just don't, like, associate them with Bachelor Couple. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, love those guys. Uh, who else? Who else? I mean, we like everyone who's together. Yeah. Oh, Kaylin and Jason. Yeah. Um, uh, we vacation with them, too. <laughs> yeah, we vacation with them. We hung out with... Uh, Ari and Lauren and Colton and Cassie. Before yeah, there's, the there's, there's we love them. Yeah, I really, I really like, uh, I really like both of them. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not like anybody I can think of as a couple that I don't like hanging out with. Me neither. We've hung out with Dylan and Hannah. They're super sweet. They're awesome. They're like too young for us though, just because they're they like like to party. Yeah, so they like to go out. And, they uh, go to trendy restaurants and we're like, we'll go to the place on the street. They go to dinner at like 9 30 <laughs> at night. And I'm like, 9 30? I'm in bed. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for the question. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, Molly, Molly Gross, go ahead. Hello. Hi. Um, uh, oh, there you are, Marley. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I, it's appropriate for me to cry right now, I guess. Oh, uh, uh, crying? 
a little bit, a little bit. Um, my question is, um, what do you guys miss most about pre-bachelor life, like in the spotlight? Truly nothing for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I miss? I miss, uh, I, I do sometimes miss the, um, uh, the, it's going to sound weird. I, I kind of like the simple life. I don't know how to describe that best, but sometimes, uh, especially in the entertainment industry, uh, as you guys probably, if you follow any reality TV personalities or anybody who's in the entertainment industry right now, it's, it's very competitive and everybody seems like they're trying to do the same thing, uh, whether it be podcasting, hosting, social media, things of that nature. And so it becomes very stressful uh and uh it's more of a competitive nature that he doesn't like to live in all the time well because you're also we're also friends with all these people yeah so it's like you're competitive with your friends and i don't like that uh it's all friendly um but uh i think that's what i would miss most the idea of just kind of like doing my own thing and then separating everything else it feels like everything's blended together now you know in a lot of different aspects yeah like our relationship his like our social life our work life yeah. it's like all kind of it's all like category. it's all one and so i miss the days of being like okay this is work and i get out of work at five mm -hmm. and then i go hang out with my friends you know and, and it's completely different and i can leave that and what we do now it's everything it's like we're always have to be on um and so we actually we actually had a conversation about that like two months ago or so before the pandemic happened uh about how I think we could feel our relationship and work kind of like. What are you talking about? You talked about that last week. Was it last week? <laughs> yes. I have no. What are you talking about? That was literally like five days ago. No way. Yes. Was it? I was sitting on I the I have couch. no concept of time right now. Anyway, point I was is. Like, when you were like going with that topic, I was like, is he going to say that that was two months ago? Was it really? Holy shit. <laughs> what year is it? Um, but yeah, I think that's what I miss most. Just um, sometimes. Uh, things like uh get blended together it's like okay we have to really separate that makes sense our next question is from lindsey beck lindsey beck are you there l beck oh can you hear me hey lindsey hey. well hi <laughs> first of all i wanted to say your tiktok game is really strong thank you i love watching your tiktoks and then second i always wanted to know if you could pick one word to describe living in the mansion what would that word be? This is so weird. My Overrated. Oh, <laughs> mine is totally different. Mine is warm. I felt like part of a great community, a really like loving, supportive, friendly community. Super weird. I really felt like I found my- She said one word. I said warm. <laughs> <laughs> I have right, to warm. expand upon that. All right, so why do you think it's warm? Because I felt like a loving community. Like that was very friendly and I really felt like I found my place in the world, which is, so weird but like when I landed when I like started the casting process I was like my most confident self and I just felt like I found my people and my place in the world yeah uh the reason I say overrated uh because it's 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 a beautiful home um but it's you know when when filming it's definitely a set and uh this it's not really that you have bunk beds and so there's like nine people to each room. Uh, there's no privacy. Like I, I played sports in high school, but I've never, I've never had a, an experience where I was like in the showers with somebody else. And I'll never forget. There's, I never did that. It was well. That's <laughs> like, this is what guys do apparently. But like, I'd always like sneak in the bathroom and just try to shower by myself pretty quickly and get out. You so, had to shower in the in the first floor shower. That was I the only. Know. That was the only shower where you had like a toilet and a shower to yourself but you could lock it and it wasn't part of a bedroom and that was the place to shower apparently that was the place to shower and i missed the notice on that one. <laughs> in, in the bathroom where there was like a shower where like six people could fit in there but i was doing my thing and trying to get out and then i heard a voice he's like hey who is that who's in there and i was like it's jared and then he's like oh okay and then he walked in it was this guy ben z who's on my season who's like six four 220 like ripped He's like, hey, what's going on, man? And he, we're just standing in the nude and he's showering. And this, I was like, I, I gotta get that. I, I don't know. It's just not for me. <laughs> uh, and so- uh, That's it. That's it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Jared's very long-winded. 
one, one word, Jareth. Oh my god! All Thank I got you. out of that is there was another guy peeping on him in the shower. Guys. <laughs> oh my god! Now. <laughs> um, so we're going to have time for a couple more questions because we definitely want to be respectful of Ashley and Jared's time. So I'm going to hop to a couple different people here. So Alyssa Palumbo, go ahead and ask your question. Hi. Hi, Alyssa. Hey. Both my questions were kind of answered, but I just want to say I really, really like you guys. And this is so cool. I can't believe I'm talking <laughs> to you. Yeah. Um, you two, um, we're not that cool. Like, have you ever met Hannah Brown? Yes. Yeah, a couple times. She's very I sweet. About Tyler. What do we think about her and Tyler? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think she asked if we met Tyler. We met Tyler. Yeah, did you meet him? I've met Tyler a couple times. Yeah, she's met Tyler a couple times. Um, and then what do we think about them? I mean, th uh, who the hell knows? Apparently they're not together. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But they were quarantined together for quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for doing this. <laughs> oh, of thank course. You thank you for being no. here. Yeah, thank you. And I think Ashley's a little shy, but in the chat, she put that Ashley, you're one of her favorite people of all time in Bachelor, like nation. So <laughs> just wanted so one. That means a ton. It really, really does. Thank you. I always appreciated that you're just like 100% authentic. And I know you've gotten criticized for like, whether it's crying too much, being too emotional, but you just got to own that because it's vu being vulnerable. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I mean, they're my favorite too. So you have to. <laughs> Listen, I will not watch the show, so I cannot like anybody else. And yesterday. <laughs> These are my two favorite, now and forever. <laughs> um, so let's go to Macy. Macy Watering. I hope I'm saying your last name right, but go ahead and ask your question. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, Macy, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, thank you. Um, my question is, has being on, has like, being been on reality TV changed your perspectives like of reality TV shows. Yeah, in the way that like I can like I watched Too Hot to Handle this week. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, that was a producer move. That was a producer move. You just are able to like those out. That yeah. Is. Yeah, just, I mean, like, I a more agree. educated viewer. Yeah, um, I would say I guess uh, it's changed my view in knowing it's more real. Real, yeah. Like I would yeah. definitely, I was definitely the guy, like for example, so the girl who signed me up for the show loves Scott Disick, if you know who that is from the Cardinals. Yeah. I don't know who that yeah. is. I don't know. <laughs> and so uh, I remember she wanted to go to this club appearance he was at and I just thought that he was, like it was all fake and he was phony and don't, and I remember she made me watch Sean and Catherine's wedding from The Bachelor. And I was like, this is so fake. They're doing it for fame. And then, of course, now here I am married from The that Bachelor That is so franchise. ironic. I know. So it's definitely, I've, I've realized it's far more real than I thought before. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. Welcome. Thank you. So I think we're going to do two or three more. So Lizzie G, I don't want to pronounce your last name wrong, but Lizzie, go ahead and ask your question. Hey, so first I just wanted to have my best friend say hi. She's from Jersey and she loves you guys. Hi. Oh, thank you. Hi, hey. best friend from Jersey. What's your name? Jen. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jen. <laughs> Thank you on the call. <laughs> um, so my question was, how is your relationship different on Paradise versus real life? Well, Paradise, you know, was the very beginning stage of our relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much completely different now. I was so nervous, like the first season, I was so nervous around him because I just thought he was the hottest thing ever and I thought he was 100% perfect. I like was just obsessed with his personality and all of his interests. And, and she has learned that that's not true. <laughs> now I know that he's absolutely not perfect. <laughs> I'm a psycho, I have some serious issues, I have a lot of flaws. Um, so yeah, now I'm like, then I was too nervous and not comfortable, and now I'm probably overly comfortable with him. <laughs> He's definitely very comfortable around me, which I is very endearing and loving and sweet. Like I used to be so scared to like initiate like any sort of you know like touch with him the first year of our relationship, and now I'm just like smother central. Very smother central, <laughs> though I like it. Um, but how is it different? Uh, yeah, it's hard to really compare because we didn't really have that much of a relationship on Paradise. Um, I would say the, 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 uh, foundation of our friendship hasn't changed, which has been very nice. That hasn't really changed at all. Mm -mm. 
That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Jen and Lizzie. <laughs> Samantha W, go ahead and ask your question. Um, do you guys plan on doing any more episodes for your YouTube series that you had with Nick, um, Jade and Tanner? Well, we what love now? that you watch. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Thank you. That's so cool that you watched it. That means the world to us. It really does. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's an idea that it's we, funny that you we bring love. That up. It's an idea that we love and an idea we would like to move forward with in the future if given the opportunity. That's our very PC answer. And yeah. It's also PC because, like, there's nothing in the works currently. No, there's nothing in the works currently. <laughs> there was, like, this whole thing that happened with that show. Uh, that, uh, not so much drama within that show it's just like a hollywood no. contract issue. yeah just like all that jazz uh but um uh we would love to uh we love what now that was truly uh kind of like our our baby um and so uh i hope so yeah we hope, hope that so. concept continues some awesome <laughs> So we're going to hit our last question because um, we definitely obviously want to make sure that we're respectful of everybody's time. So Courtney Wagner, yours just came in. So go ahead and ask your question. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I forgot to mute myself. I was just wondering what you guys, like how you guys felt about uh, being inspiration for people, like looking for a healthy relationship now that you guys are together. Oh, that's very that's sweet. Very sweet. It's, it's really it's really not funny what's the word when people people it's tell us funny. this it's like wow that's really cool <laughs> a lot to us um i think you know it's it's hard because i think for ashley and i we know that we have a great relationship and we're very thankful and lucky that we have that um but also it's I don't want to like sound, don't, like we don't have like, like the perfect marriage. Yeah, um, I don't want to also one brag or two say that everything's perfect because yeah. it's not. No relationship <laughs> is, um, and I think that's something that is very important to remember in any in all relationships is that it will never be perfect. And if you're yeah. looking for the perfect person or the perfect relationship, uh, you'll never find it, unfortunately. But I think that's also a good thing because. Uh, you're constantly I, challenged by each other because if you <laughs> like, if everything's so easy breezy, then you're probably super bored. And I just think that, um, you know, in, in my opinion, you know, uh, when you marry someone or you're with someone, you're choosing that person every day. And so uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy every day, but that means that you have to put effort into the relationship and you have to, uh, you know, uh, try to better it and, and so on and so forth. And so I think, uh, I think that would be my uh, advice. But I, it is very nice people say that like, our journey to find each other is inspiring because I feel like that's a separate thing than your marriage being like a Stepford wife mm -hmm. because people like look to us as you know two friends that it seemed like it was never going to happen and that it evolved into something beautiful yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. and I think that's like definitely worth holding out for waiting for your person and then fighting for the person when you feel like it's them yeah especially we come from a world that's obviously uh revolved around you know love and perfect relationship and everything's glamorous and it's amazing and and um obviously in hindsight there's a you know a lot of things that I would personally have done differently and changed but weirdly enough I'm also kind of proud of how we got together because it wasn't perfect and and I like that because uh um as you guys probably know or 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 will find out uh, in relationships it, it's you know it's not always gonna be perfect you got to put effort in but that's half the fun and of course I like the whole never give up type thing mm -hmm. but then there are sometimes you should give up <laughs> <laughs> someone it's a fine line. but but you'll know when that is i think and i think if you don't know when that is you should always get into another relationship and if that person the object of your affection doesn't come around then they're never coming around and you need to accept that <laughs> well thank you <laughs> thanks those are, those are all real good words to live by so <laughs> thank you because uh, you know i think our students do need to hear that i think sometimes 
a lot of the things they see in the show is very glamorized. But at the end of the day, you two are real people. You have real situations. You you go through life just like everybody else does. So I appreciate you uh, normalizing that for everyone. Um, we are actually out of time, everybody. Uh, we want to thank Jared and Ashley for coming and spending their time with us. Again, this program was brought to you by Residence Life and Housing Services here at Westchester University. Um, before we leave, we always want to allow our speakers to have the final say. So what does that mean? That means that we allow you to take us out. So if you have a key to life or words to live by, or what's that one thing you want to leave with our students, that is all you. So we give you no time to prepare. That way it can come off the cuff and you're on three, two, one. <laughs> So we just I just want to say thank you to all of you guys writing these sweet messages in the chat, appreciating us coming on, but we appreciate you way more for watching our show and for listening to us for the past half an hour. No, seriously, I just honestly wanted to thank every single one of you guys. I wish I could go through names, but uh, Carolyn and Lauren and Lindsay and Molly and Nicole and Emma and Deidre. And, and Laura and Lauren <laughs> and Jacqueline and Corey Macy and, and Alyssa and <laughs> and Lara like and cheating. Fran and McKenna and Samantha and Anum and uh, Ruby. Deirdre, there's a whole other page. There's a whole other page. <laughs> somebody's, somebody's like, let me hurry up and put my name in there twice so I can put it on Instagram. <laughs> and there's Catherine and Nick and, and Lauren and Kaylin and Jacqueline and Deanna and Robin and Gabby Maddie and Samantha. And Elizabeth, Kate, Danielle, Ashlyn, <laughs> Madeline, Natalie, Madison, Hannah. Okay. Ruby, Allison. <laughs> yeah, there's more than one Lauren, so, but we. <laughs> it was the Lauren that thought it was them, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, what would be your what would be your final say? What would be your final send off? What would you want to leave with the students? Um, oh stay in school. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. My my words of wisdom are always just the power of positive thinking. Just believe that it's going to happen daydream 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 of it happening and in addition to the other magic potion that goes along with daydreaming is actually putting effort into it and the combination of those two lead to success uh i couldn't have said it better myself uh i'm gonna be i'm gonna sound like a real dumbass and say something that's very cliche but uh uh especially now in today's world i feel like a lot of people are living in fear uh, is something that you shouldn't be doing right now. And uh, a lot of times people, there's a great quote, uh, they say that uh, people live in fear and disguise it as practicality. And it's something that I do all the time and I've been doing for a very long time. And it's truly held me back in life uh, with friends and family and career aspirations because uh, I'm constantly making excuses that I know aren't true, uh, but it helps me feel better. And ever since being with Ashley, uh, she calls me out on it. And uh, truthfully, when I put my ego to the side uh, and accept the fact that maybe I'm going to embarrass myself or I need to, maybe I just need to put to the side the thought that maybe I'm not good enough and just go after what I want. A lot of the times I get it because I just work hard for it. And so that would be my, uh, believe my last piece of advice would be, uh, um, Fuck everybody who tells you that you can't do it because it's not true. And I still have to remind him of this every day. So yeah. and you have to remind because, yourself every yeah. day. <laughs> just because he's saying it and you're thinking it's a good thing doesn't mean that you can't. You have to like just keep telling yourself that's not true. That's not true. No, yeah, and I, I think I used to think that that came naturally. Like, oh, just one day I'll, I'll feel like I can accomplish this, and it's like, no, that 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 day's never gonna come. You have yeah. to constantly work on it and constantly work on the, you know, positive thinking and and thinking that like I can do this uh because I got news for you too I got news for you I'm sorry to be but like what you will find out you guys are in college right now but what you'll find out in the real world everybody's faking it <laughs> every like just try you are smart enough you can do it because I, I promise you even people that you look at and you're like oh I, I'll never be like them you can be because they're I, I guarantee they had moments of doubt as well that's my, my last thought. I think that was great advice, babe. All right, thanks. That was, that was real great advice. Yeah. Well, we thank you so much for showing up and for talking with our students. For those who are still watching, tomorrow we have Kayla, who does spoken word. Um, she's been nominated for multiple things. Um, Claudia Jordan, you might know her from Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's also a model on Deal or No Deal. But she was on two seasons of The Apprentice. And then at night, we will have Tim. 
Um, he was on Wild and Out. Uh, he has his whole YouTube channel. He has another channel that he does too. His former stage name was Timothy De La Ghetto. So we will have them tomorrow. Thank you all for showing up. We look forward to seeing you. Jared, Ashley, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you.